to North Home School Academy, and I want to talk to you today about the importance of science education. If you saw me at the Great Homeschool Conventions, you know that I say this sentence quite often. Our kids are growing up in this odd smash up world. Every year on the East Coast, the Flat Earth Society meets and it's growing by thousands every year. And on the West Coast yearly, the transhumanists meet every year and that group is growing every year. So our kids are growing up in this smash up world caught between the medieval world and sci-fi. That's the world they live in right now. How does that relate to science education? Well, it does in every single way. Science education really helps your kids understand the difference between a hypothesis and truth. How does it do that? The scientific method. You observe, you research, you form a hypothesis, you test with experiments that are duplicatable. It means you can do them over and over. You analyze the data, you reach conclusions, and you either have a fact or another hypothesis. So, Science education really teaches our kids to think very critically and also creatively. So a lot of people don't realize that about science is that it's a really creative pursuit. It's a creative endeavor because you have to be able to think past your original idea if it doesn't work out. How do you manage that? You think creatively and come up with other ideas. You reform your hypothesis, you retest, all those kind of things. So science really takes creativity and critical thinking. We think it's super important at True North Home School Academy. We feel like it's going to help your kids really manage all this data and information that's coming at them, really assaulting them <laughs> on a daily basis through social media and their phones. And it's just everywhere. You can't even go to a restaurant hardly anymore without having a television on in the background and people looking on their phones and that kind of thing. So we really believe that science education is really going to help inoculate your kids against some of that assault and barrage and that they can really start assessing the information that comes at them. That's what science education does. So what do we offer at True North Home School Academy? I am so glad you asked. We start in elementary school with science exploration A and B. And this is taught by Laura Nolette. Laura has a computer science background. She, along with Meredith Curtis, have written several tens and tens of curriculum books at this point. She uses one of the curriculums that she created and um, actually can purchase it at Powerline Prod and she changes it up every year for the kids because so many of the kids in the science exploration a and b love it so she does different units throughout the year now every week in laurel nolette's elementary science class they do an experiment i don't know about you but this is how i did experiments with like my kids <laughs> we gather this stuff we do the experiment often it wouldn't work i wasn't really sure why if it did work it's because we follow the directions that's not how Laura does it. She explains it to the kids. Now, I have other gifts and talents, but science education isn't really one of them. It's one of the things that I was grateful to be able to outsource to people like Laura and Melissa Grande and Dr. Kristen Moon because they love it and they know how to explain all the details of it so that your kids can really develop that scientific mind themselves and really start understanding the power of hypothesis um testing with experiments analyzing data and going back and thinking through things again how to solve a problem so lauren Olette teaches a science exploration a and b they do a science experiment every single week laura does the science experiment with them they do it in class and then they talk about it it sounds like it might be hard to do online but laura's been doing this for four years and believe me those kids are so involved in the science experiments they absolutely love it now, as we move into junior high, we've changed our junior high science program up just a little bit. Melissa Grande, who we all know and love, is still teaching middle school science. We've consolidated all the units of science that we've previously offered, like earth and space, zoology and botany, et cetera, into one general science class that Melissa Grande will teach. So that typically would be seventh or eighth grade. And then she's also doing science with Marvel, which is science at the movies. Um, and that's typically eighth grade. It's a physical science class. It's with labs. You can count it for high school if you need to. Both of these classes are developed by Melissa Grande, who has an environmental science degree. She's also a professional musician. And one of the things um, that I didn't realize until way later in life is we have a good friend who's actually the piano dean at a at a Big Ten school. And a lot of the kids who are in the getting piano majors or you know music majors often go on to med school. Medical school loves music majors because 
They're very exact. They're very precise. They understand how to continue and work and, and you know, not give up on hard projects. And so if you have a kiddo who's into music and into science, it actually makes perfect sense. So anyway, Melissa Grande is teaching general science this year. Super, super excited about it because, again, she's combining all those units we've previously offered, physics and chemistry at junior high, biology and or botany and zoology, earth and space, and she's putting them all together into one general science credit for your kids. They're going to learn some labs, they're going to learn the scientific method, and then science with Marvel again, based on the Marvel Universe. <laughs> what a great class, right? Like physical science based on the Marvel Universe. It is as fun as it sounds, and believe me, your kids are going to understand what the scientific method is, how to write a really solid lab report, and they're going to have a great time doing it. Great time doing it. From there, um, we go on to high school, and Dr. Kristen Moon, as many of you know, teaches most of our high school science classes. She teaches biology, chemistry, anatomy and physiology, and physics. All of these come with labs. Biology and chemistry, there is an honors option component if you want to choose that. Dr. Moon's classes are very logical, sequential. Um, the kids learn a lot. There is no textbook for either the junior high or the high school science classes. Honestly, at True North Home School Academy, when I say we have world-class teachers, I mean it. The teachers are the textbooks. They are subject matter experts, and they are passionate about the subjects that they teach. So both Melissa and Kristen have created programs within our learning management system that are very, very well organized and very accessible to the kids. So there's not tons and tons of reading, but there's tons and tons of really good, solid science learning taking place. Um, so Dr. Moon teaches biology, chemistry, anatomy, and phys uh, physiology, and physics, all with labs. And then we also are offering environmental science. Back to Melissa Grande, who has a degree in environmental science. The environmental science is very project-based. Um, it's very real world. It can also be used as a comp for biology. So if you have a kiddo who's not going to go into STEM or not going to go into college or university and you want more of a project-based science, the environmental science is a great, great class for those kids. They get solid learning. And again, it's, a, it's comparable to a biology class. So if they do end up going to college and they say, hey, your kids need biology, it's a comp for that. It will count for that. Um, so these classes are super great. Also, in the spring of next year, Dr. Moon will teach genetics again for those kids who can't get enough of it in biology and AMP, which, yes, there are those kids. That class was, I think, almost full this year, um, and that will be a spring class again. So we've got a great lineup for science for you. Listen, if you don't have a great science program and you want your kids to be inspired by actual scientists, people who work in the field and understand the field and love the field, um, then we've got a great program for you. Um, Laura Nolette is going back to college to get her um, computer science degree. She's been in the computer science field for years and years, and she's a techie. <laughs> she also teaches computer science for us at True North Home School Academy. And like I said, all of our science classes are super well organized and accessible to the kids. There's not a ton of reading in them, but there's a lot of great hands-on science experiments, understanding the scientific method, learning how to write lab reports, really learning to think critically, and again, creatively. A lot of people don't think creativity and science might go together, but what better what better field to be really super creative in? Because again, if one thing doesn't work, how are you going to do the work around and hack and get something that does work, right? We all know that quote by Ben Franklin at this point, um, which I butcher every time I say it, so I'm just not going to. Um, we are, um, our fall enrollment is open, it's live, it's been live um, for several months at this point. Um, you guys know Dr. Moon's classes fill very, very fast, so does middle school classes. So if you want the, um, the day and time for the science classes, go to the website and check it out and enroll sooner than later. Um, we have been moving um, some things on our website, so if you haven't been able to access it this morning, don't worry, we're working on it and it should be really great to go this afternoon. Um, somebody said in the comments they want to know about the math program and I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about math right now because it's STEM, it all goes together, critical thinking, right? We have a very unique math program at True North Home School Academy. We have collaborated at one of the four C's of education. We have collaborated with the award-winning CTC math and so the kids get their level of CTC math that they work on every single day at home and then once a week, they have a live online math instruction with Leanne Benjamin or Don Pasley, um, qualified math teachers who love math <laughs> and share that enthusiasm with your kids. 
So they do preview, they do review, they play math games that are level appropriate, and they make sure that the kids are actually in the CTC program and doing the math. They can help them if they're stuck, they can get into the program during class and work out and solve problems and that kind of thing. It's a blended program that's super unique. I don't think anybody else is doing it this way. This is gonna be the fourth year that we've done this CTC blended program. And by the way, the cost of CTC is included in the live class. So this is a super bargain for those of you who use CTC math. You not only get the CTC math, but you get the qualified math instructor who meets with your kids for one 60 minute hour every single week. Great, great deal. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this is like the fourth year that we've used this combo. It's been a winning combo. We have had kids who've been highly successful with it and they just do um, the next math, the next math. So we offer fifth grade math through calculus. Um, algebra one and two usually are the first to fill. Um, algebra half is pretty, you know, it fills fast too. So if you are interested in algebra one or two, don't put it off till like July or, you know, get it sooner than that because those classes will fill again this year. Geometry has really been a popular class too. Leanne Benjamin, I did a podcast with her a couple weeks ago. She's an interesting gal. Her um, dad worked on the space program. Some of the things that he developed are actually on the moon. And she just grew up learning and loving math. She ended up being asked by her math teacher as a ninth grader to teach the upper level math classes in her high school. And some of the teachers that she had actually knew Einstein. So she is a math person. She loves math. She's taught through Calc 4 in college, but she's also taught kindergarten math and remedial math, and she just loves math. That's one of the things I found in our home school is the things that I was really good at, my kids excelled at. They can all stand up and talk to however many people, hundreds, they don't even care. It doesn't bother them. They can write anything. They've been in plays and theaters, and they rock the page. But math can be a little bit tricky, especially if you don't have math kids, and that, again, was one of the classes that we outsourced, and I was really glad to be able to do so. I wish we'd had this combo of CTC and a live teacher at that point for a couple of my kids, one who had dyscalculia, it would have changed everything for them. So we do have a great math program. We're also going to be offering math with art next year, and it's going to be a very interesting math class for if you guys have kids who are struggling with math and they're just not going to be able to get past fifth or sixth grade math. This is going to be a super practical, hands-on, fun math class for them taught by somebody again who absolutely loves math so when i say subject matter experts i want you to believe me because it's true we love our teaching team and we've been getting together more frequently as teachers and we love to hang out together we just um from all over the country on zoom thanks to technology right um and get to share ideas and find out what's really happening um, with all that we're learning on our own most of our teachers are doing continuing education <laughs> all the time. Um, Dana Hanley, she's been getting up at 2 a.m. to go to how to use AI in German education. Um, Don Pasley, I know, is reading books on how to teach ASL and, and on and on. But um, great teaching staff. Uh, and again, we're coming from a Judeo-Christian point of view. And um, we'd love to partner with you as you homeschool. We really believe that education is a transmission of culture, and we are really committed to transmitting a culture of truth, beauty, and goodness. We know that your kids need community, and we're here to offer it. We have an amazing group of families and students from around the country, coast to coast, as well as outside of it. We have many expats and missionary families that take classes with True North Homeschool Academy. There really is a place for you and your family at True North. We'd love to partner with you. Enrollment is open for fall. Um, the other thing that we, we are reinstating from 2020 and the club era that we had at True North Homeschool Academy is we're going to be meeting quarterly with the kids um, just to get together and hang out as well as the parents. And we're going to do a couple of those this spring for our current students. Then we'll have those in the fall and next year too. So we've got great things planned, great things coming up. Um, check out the website, truenorthhomeschool.academy. If you have any questions about math or science classes, we'd love to answer them for you. You can leave a comment here. Um, you can go over to the Facebook groups and leave comments there. And there's teachers and students. If you have questions and you want to ask them of families, go ahead and go ahead and ask them in there. Um, we want to get your honest feedback and assessment. We're always looking to improve to serve you better. Um, that's the whole point of why we're here at True North Home School Academy. So if you hope you guys are having a great day and that winter is waning in your part of the woods. And I will talk to you soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.